And still on judicial matters now, the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has acquitted and discharged former head of service Stephen Oronsai of 22-count charge of fraud. The court held that no credible evidence was presented by the 21 witnesses called by the EFCC. Delivering the judgment, Justice Inyangeko held that the prosecution suppressed material evidence by not informing the court that Abdul Rashid Mena, who was a defendant in the case and also an important figure in the suit, was facing trial at another court and had been convicted. The EFCC had said Mr. Mena was at large, but in the real sense, he was facing trial at the Federal High Court Abuja. The court held that the fourth and fifth defendants, who were corporate entities, had already been wounded up by others of the Court of Competent Jurisdiction and as such has no life before the courts. And also the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has ordered the extradition of Chukwemeka Oyengula to the United States of America to face trial over allegations of wire fraud and identity theft. Justice Inyangeko made this order while delivering judgment on the application filed by the federal government. The court ordered that Mr. Yengula be surrendered to the United States by the AGF within 15 days from the day of this judgment and is to remain in the, remain in the correctional facility pending his extradition. Mr. Yengula had been indicted by the United States authorities for filing false claims for pandemic-related unemployment benefits in 17 states.